It's Lunar New Year's time. We are saying a big goodbye to the year of the rabbit and the cat, and a huge hello to the dragon. If you were born in these years, congratulations! You are a dragon, and that's pretty cool. People born in these years are considered to be intelligent and good at making decisions. Dragons are confident, always know what they want, and stick to their guns. Do you think your zodiac animal is a scary, fire-breathing beast like this? Well, not exactly. The dragon we are talking about in the Chinese zodiac is a special creature. Wow, what's that? You might wonder. Don't worry, I'm here to introduce you to this amazing creature. Dragon ranks fifth among the twelve zodiac signs. It's the only one that's not real, at least not to our current knowledge. This dragon has been part of Chinese folk tales for about eight thousand years since the Shang Dynasty. Imagine a creature with the head of a camel, deer antlers, rabbit eyes, cow ears, a snake neck, turtle belly, fish scales, eagle claws, and tiger paws. And different from fire-spitting Western dragons, Chinese dragons often have a strong association with water. They are seen as a god of water, like rivers and seas, and even controlled rainfall. That's a big deal in places where farming is important. So dragons are super respected, seen as a strong indicator of good luck. That's why dragons have been well respected in agricultural societies like China. Even emperors would use the symbol to represent their imperial power, claiming themselves as the Phantom of the Dragon. Even now, Chinese folks like to say they are descendants of the dragon. And you will find dragons in art, movies, and games all over. Lunar New Year is a big deal, not just for Chinese people, but also in countries like Korea, Vietnam, and some Southeast Asian countries. People wear new clothes, decorate with red for good luck, and kids get money in red envelopes. In China, the Dragon Year is seen as super lucky for important events like getting married. Starting a family or moving to a new home, but hey, not everyone's on board with that idea, and that's totally okay. You can look at it two ways: either as a delightful aspect of culture and entertainment, or maybe, if you feel like it, a little nod in the direction you've been thinking about. Either way, it's all about what you believe and what makes you happy. So. Whether you are making a big move or just enjoying the festivities, the Dragon Year is here to make things interesting. Families plan a big dinner together on Lunar New Year's Eve, kind of like Christmas in Australia, and the food is always a highlight. In the north, it's all about dumplings, and in the south, they love ear cakes. To wish someone a happy New Year, you can say 过年好 and 恭喜发财 means wish you well. But if it's your zodiac year, like for dragons this year, it's supposed to be a bit unlucky. Here is a trick for you: wear red, like socks or even underwear, to keep away bad luck. The celebrations last two weeks, ending with a beautiful lantern festival on the 15th of January on the lunar calendar. So enjoy the lunar new year vibe. Wishing you a lucky, healthy, and prosperous dragon year.